are good people welcome to this tutorial step number one you have to launch your browser and search the KRA website so that you can download the Excel work, uh, workbook to log in you enter your pin number let me just confirm if it is uh, correctly entered once you are done click on continue key in your password if you have forgotten you will have to reset i have a video on the same and then come down and do this simple arithmetic move to returns move down to file returns you will be taken to this page click on income tax rest angel and then next after that we will come here and download the excel sheet or workbook so it will be downloaded in your downloads go to the zip file and extract it once it has been extracted you simply open it to start or rather run your excel sheet or workbook once it opens We'll have to enable macros so that you don't get errors. Go to File, Options, then Trust Center. From the Trust Center, you move to Trust Center Settings, and then move to Macro Settings. Enable this part and this one, then click OK. So our macros are running. In the sheet, you key in your KRA pin number. You can see it on the P9 form. Come down here, return type, original or amended. Mine is amended because I'm doing it for the second time. Enter return period, 1st to 31st of December 2023. Just give it some time. To load the macros are now running from here we shall move to number 13 do you have an insurance policy we'll have to add a tab you can see we have a tab missing here for insurance policy click on the drop down button Click on yes to add another tab. You can see it has been added. From here, we move to the next section. Click on next. So here we type the employer's PIN. If you don't know where it is, check on the P9 form. Just type it in the way it is. And then you write or rather type the employer's name or the name of the employer then key in the cross pay you can see it on the p9 the total uh, salary for the year and allowing this zero zero pension if it is uh, in excess of 300,000 we type it but we shall simply type in zero because it is less Come to this section, you'll have to divide your salary into two and also the pension. Half a year, half a year. I've shown just beside or rather on my left on how to do it. Just add those figures as shown on the P9 form. And then you fill in. Here we are working with the income and the pension income from January to June, income from July to December, same to pension. Once you are done, move to next page, insurance pin, it is here for the NHIF, if you don't know it, you can just note it down. 
then write the name of the insurance that is national hospital insurance fund move to this part from the drop down select nhif enter the membership number if you don't know just this sms the word id space id number to one five five zero next your annual deduction for the nhif and then 15 percent it is 1800 of the total you can see it there that is the relief next for employer pin select from the drop down and then type in the name of the employer taxable salary you can see it on the p9 form where i'm getting it from tax paper also you can get it on the p9 form let me just show you this there so you have to get zero there move to next you need the pension contribution it is on your p9 form it is there you can see it just carry the figure and type it in that section and then we shall also need uh, the npr value or tax relief type the figure there cross check to ensure that all the figures have been correctly entered if there are errors correct this is the relief yes
So there it is. Good people, that's how it is done. Bye.